Hello guys, it's Megugis here, and I'm back with a new Minecraft mod installation. And uh, yeah, it was a while ago, uh, quite a while ago, since I made the last one, or only one I have, I have made, and that was the Dragon Mouse mod. And this time I'm gonna show you how to install the shaders mod. So I will put all the links that's uh, necessarily in the description. And let's start downloading files here. We need this file, shaders mod. And for Minecraft 1.4.6, 1.4.7. If you are watching this video after 1.5 or something, this tutorial should still be functional. But you need to use files, of course. So, Minecraft Optifine HD Ultra 5 as well. So, let's head over to Optifine or the Optifine page and download Ultra 5D or Ultra D5 Ultra. Let's save it. that one and this is a shader pack I couldn't find anywhere else than this download so this is probably not the official thread for it since it's not a thread at all and there are a few different ones so I will download bump shadow sonic ethers and this one and I'm not sure this one is working but I can try that one as well Bump shadow waving. Um, Sonic Eater is unbelievable shaders mod. Let's just see here which one I have installed or downloaded. I'll to find that one. Okay, yeah, those packs. Then we have these four, uh, these three left. Download, save, close tab. And yeah, this one isn't working. I have tried it multiple times and it just crashes. Like a Mac Intel download was the one I was going to press. And save it. Now we can close Firefox and make a new folder. Command, Shift, and N. And just tape, name it Shader. Uh, shader. Yes. We can move it up here. Um, yeah. And head to Downloads. Move all these. Those aren't for this thing. And let's extract Optifine and Shaders Mod MC 1.4. Open with either Archive Utility or if you have the Unarchiver. I usually use the Unarchiver. Okay, like that. And now, new window. And now we should locate the Minecraft folder. And to do that, you go press go, hold alt, press library. And if you want to like make a shortcut, you can press the icon and drag it down to your favorites, which I have made, which I've done. Easier to yeah take it quickly. I also have a shortcut to the bin folder, and the only difference is you head to library, application support, and Minecraft. Um, yeah. This is custom icon I made, so it will just look like this and say Minecraft, and it won't be marked in green either. So let's head into the bin folder and rename that to Minecraft.zip and unarchive it or unzip it. And now we can rename it again. It doesn't need to be named zip anymore, we can just rename it real Minecraft. So don't lose to the R file. 
and if you haven't or if you have other mods installed you should make a clean installation so you open minecraft and click in options force update and it yeah so you get a clean yar file mine was already clean or vanilla yar file so i don't need to do that and let's make a backup of the bin folder anyway so we don't lose it and let's head in here now and should install Optifine first so command A command C head over here command V apply to all replace and then you can hit M on the keyboard to find meta inf should delete that one and now we install the shaders mod command A command C and command e. The apply to all place. Yeah, should be there already. And now we should be able to launch Minecraft. We can just empty the trash can. And I'm using my text pack as you could see there. Options shaders. Open the shaders packs folder. And as you can see here, it's located in the Minecraft folder. Library, application support Minecraft, and it's in this Minecraft folder. And then you can close this one and drag all the mo uh, shaders packs in there. Okay, that one isn't actually a shader pack. That's another pack, including a file. This is the file we are going to use. And the reason I didn't download it. Download this only is because there I didn't find a real download for it, so it's an unofficial download. I li link for this one, or no, this one. We don't need these anymore. Clean up, and let's copy and paste them in the shaders folder. And let's try. Yeah, let's go with Sonic's Ether's Unbelievable Shaders mod. Just gonna check my settings here. Let's play on Tiny, just put down the graphics so I don't have any reason to crash at all when recording. Hit a new world. And as you can see, it's just vanilla right now. So options, shaders. Um, why didn't that work, by the way? That's weird. Um, okay, let's go with the shaders first. The one that's only named shaders. And as you can see, it's running fairly smoothly on tiny <laughs> and this one has easily the best um, the best shadows and shades of the packs the grass is moving really cool really smoothly as well and as you could see when I joined or went on single player world it is really bright to begin with Oh no, nope, that's not this one. <laughs> oh. As you can see, it's really nice shades anyway. And that's about it for this shade pack. Like, the water has a nice, like, surface thing. Looks nice when you jump into it. And so on. And I think you can see the shadows really cool, or sh yeah, the shading really cool when you're in the water. Let's see if I can find some deeper water, maybe not. Uh, and now you can see the shadows really cool here.
uh, as you can see they are not in the same place on the surface and on the bottom okay so let's head over to the next shader pack and we can take Silder's Intel shades now. and as you can see it's running really smooth um, and by some reason the water is like really bluish color I think it's because this is how the water looks in my texture pack when it's not patched and I don't know why it's that high opacity either but it looks really amazing as anyway and here you can see the water level is bumping up and down as well so if I'm just standing like this you can see the water is moving up and down in the screen and here as well and this one I think the grass is moving yeah and the leaves this is a really nice pack and you, that doesn't really it's not that um, CPU consuming or CPU eating or what you should call it. it doesn't it doesn't eat your CPU just as much as the other shadow or shades more. and the flowers are moving as well and the next one okay that's the back folder and let's try bump shadowing now time set day um this one doesn't have equal as much much or like visible shades but the flowers the leaves the grass everything is moving and i do have a shadow as well so this like a really cool shader pack but it's not just as CPU eating either and this I would probably recommend this one. It still has the shadows and such But yeah And you can see the water is bumping up and down here as well Or flowing up and down not probably bumping but yeah And that's a creeper and it has a shadow as well Okay, so let's head over to a really amazing, literally really, really amazing one. And as you can see there, it's really bright when you join. And this water is so amazing, you can... Uh, God. It's so beautiful. You can even see the reflections. That's really awesome. This is probably the most CPU eating mod or shaded pack. So if you don't have like a really custom built hardcore computer, I would not recommend using it. I'm on tiny and I have 20 FPS when recording. And the flowers aren't moving, but the leaves and grass are. And so is the water. And I have a shadow as well, and everything has a shadow. Let's add some time here. Set time 6000. Time set, is it? Or this time set. Time set 6000. And as you could see, it's brighter. And this looks really amazing. So yeah, that's it for this time. I hope you, yeah, I hope it worked out for you. And if you have an old Mac, I would definitely rec not recommend using any of these mods or shader packs. Really, it will just make you lag a lot and will ruin the experience. Like I don't have really that good experience with this 20 FPS either, but. 
it looks really awesome when you're sitting still and just to show it off so yeah thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time